add 2 in 3 or 3 in 2, the result will be 5 in both cases. Do you know what law is this? It's called commutative law. Before we talk about this law in detail, let's understand what an operator is. An operator is an entity that performs a specific operation on some values. For example, the symbol plus is a binary operator that adds two numbers. The values 2 and 3 here will be called as operands. Let's talk about commutative law now. Commute means move around, go from one place to another place. Similarly, if the operands move to either side of the operator without affecting the output, we call it commutative. Let us talk about commutative law of addition. It says a plus b is equal to b plus a. Either you add a in b or b in a, the output will always be same. It is applicable on all numbers including negative numbers. For example, adding 2 and minus 3 or minus 3 and 2 will result in minus 1 in both cases. Even if both numbers are negative, law will still be valid on addition. Let's now talk about commutative law of multiplication. It states a into b is equal to b into a. For example, 2 into 3 is equal to 3 into 2. Both will result in 6. Both the operands can be negative as well and the operands can move either side of the multiply operator. It will not affect the output. Let us now see if this law holds true for division as well. No, it's not. Dividing a by b and b by a will not produce the same output always. For example, dividing 4 by 2 will result in 2 whereas dividing 2 by 4 gives 0.5 as end result. Next, is it applicable on subtraction? No, it does not. Let's take a simple example. Subtracting 2 from 3 will give an output of 1 whereas subtracting 3 from 2 will result in minus 1 which is not equal to 1. A quick revision in the end. Tell me if commutative law is applicable on addition. Yes. What about multiplication? Yes. Is it valid for division? Nope. Finally, is it applicable on subtraction? No, it does not. That's it from this video. Keep watching Study Zone.